So today at the Watercolors of Crane Gallery, we're doing an unboxing of a lot of clownfish. It might be the largest saltwater order we've ever done here. Uh, they're from our friends at Sustainable Aquatics. And if you listen to our podcast, you know I'm a big clownfish nerd. And Ben was very generous in allowing me to pick out several wild type clowns. So I'm really Yay. jittery to open this up. <laughs> here we go, guys. There's box number one. Oh my gosh. Feels like we've been waiting forever for these to come in. <laughs> box number two. Oh. Let's start with this one. Okay. Starting with box number one. Yes. It says <laughs> one of one of two, so that's the one to start with. We've gotten shipments from these guys a couple of times before, and I've pretty much always been pleased. So big, happy, healthy clownfish most yeah. of the time. Let's see how this works. So sustainable aquatics packs them really well. Because of all the crazy things going on, they are one day late, but Sustainable Aquatics promised me that they're still going to come in and still be just fine. All right. I'm seeing some guys wiggling around in there, so. Cute little oh. cinnamon. Oh no. They're so tiny. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're so going to put some stuff. Yep. Quick, don't, don't sneak me. Oh, Grow these teeny guys up like for that, so that like, 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. We can move that over to Charles' side so you can pull out we'll some We'll pass that over to Charles quick. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just it says B. Those are black clowns. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things that we did order were some clowns that are allegedly not allegedly because we trust our source. True F2, true Darwin clown. So those would be offspring of clowns actually collected from Darwin's Bay in Northern Australia. A lot of the black clowns, possibly most of the black clowns in the hobby, are not descendants of those fish. They're descendants from some crossing and some mixing and things like that. But these are definitely descendants of the genuine original black clowns. And I believe some of those are. No, this has the orange face, so that probably means it's not. Right? Um, it can be hard to tell. Okay. I think they will probably be labeled as that. Probably. So I'm guessing. Now the other thing we did is we just ordered a pile yeah. of black clowns. Oh my god! Right. Now I'm guessing that's what these are. Yeah. So a pile of black clowns and a pile of orange clowns. So we're so just going to keep. Yep. Many there's of more. Them. Wow. There's more. These would be black oscillaris. And a, There's more. <laughs> good range of how much orange is on them as well. Like some of these are mostly black, black faces. Some yeah. of them have bright orange faces. Oh, they're so cool. Nice. Well, the thing that's really funny about black oscillaris is they're actually born orange. Oh, really? They dark and yeah, they get old. Yeah. I did not know that. So yeah. it's possible that even these with orange faces will lose that as they age. Potential. Okay. All right. So that's a pile of black clowns. Nice. Those we also cool in the tank. A pile of orange clowns. This says Ocellaris. That could be some of the fancy types. It looks just like an orange clown uh, to me. Probably just orange. Oh, there we go. That's what these are. Uh, oh, orange. Okay. <laughs> I get it now. I'm a really smart guy. <laughs> o is for orange. B is for black. Oh. Makes all kinds of sense. So this is just a pile of orange so Ocellaris. So many. I can't wait to see these guys all swimming around in the tank together. I believe it's a total of 70 clowns. 70? Of just the orange and the black. Oh so that kind of the specialty clowns that we ordered. So what, probably 50 orange and 20 black or I something like that? I think that might be the ratio, yeah. Wow. See, these are just orange clowns and they just keep on coming. <laughs> ah, I love a tank full of clownfish. Here we yeah. go, still more. It's okay, I can look through. <laughs> I'm just going to keep them coming, so guys. So many bags of orange black fish. We're going to go with, some people from the aquarium are going to know this word for me, a passel <laughs> of clowns. <laughs> it's an inside joke for the aquarium club. Go check out the Grand Valley Aquarium Club and maybe you're good with that inside joke. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we got? This is, oh, it's a little, oh, look at those. Beautiful. What is it? I can't quite read it. Somebody else with glasses. Who's with these glasses? Oh, a snow on. Snow oh. onyx. A pair of snow on. So Those these are, are a hybrid between onyx perks and uh, like a snowflake oscillaris. Oh, there so is. if you're gonna go with hybrids, go with something funky like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, the yeah. coloration is wild. 
Oh, we did a species profile on these guys. Look how cute! Oh, this is the babies. black saddleback clownfish, and that's definitely a pair there. We're going to try to get the whole group to live as a group together, like we did have in our anemone tank. This weird striping on that, is that juvenile striping, that's, or is that just... the saddle still starting to grow in. Yeah, okay. Yep. Here's cool. another pair. So we got four of those. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Those are the black clarks. Uh, this quarter we definitely went with <laughs> let's get multiple species of clownfish. Yeah. Nothing wrong with ocelots and people with clownfish. They're great. They have a great place in the hobby. They should be the most common one kept. But there's lots of other great species out there as well. Yeah, those options should be available. Those are probably the fancy ones. Probably. Maybe a little brighter orange. Yeah. But they look great. Darker things yeah. too. The black fin tips on those are a little uh, bit that's more. What we're yeah. At. I suspect that will enhance as it as yeah. it gets bigger. And as they settle in, they're a little less pale. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Box number two. Awesome. I think this has a lot of really fun stuff in it. I think clownfish are really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the last box had a lot of the same things. That's that was a different thing. This will have more than just clownfish. There's the medium cinnamons. Oh, cute. They are bigger than the other ones. They are. Hopefully, we can get a good group out of these guys. They're going to be a fun group to have together. We do have our one big lonely female that I'm kind of hoping. Oh, that would be nice. I don't know. But How long would big. that take for them to grow near that size? Uh, I mean, they grow pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, but theoretically, one of these, theoretically, one yeah. of these mediums will immediately recognize, I can't win this fight. Right. I can't be accepted as a male. <laughs> or she'll just kill them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at the amount of black on these. These are oh. the true perk. High black, so this would be very similar to an onyx. So yeah, it's got a lot like, of orange with that lot like of black on it. Gorgeous fish. I love that. One of my favorite wild type clowns. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go, Charles. These are the true Darwin clowns. Oh, wow. They're so orange, though. They start out that way, but they will get much, much darker. Huh. So the true Darwin clown is what everyone calls the black ocellaris clown, which most of the black ocellaris clowns in the hobby are not descendants of the true Darwin clown, which is a wild strain of black clownfish. So these specifically come from Darwin's Bay in Northern Australia, and they are what are called F2s. F stands for the filial number. Filial number, <laughs> right. So what that means is they are two generations away from wild caught. Collections from them from the wild don't happen very often because Darwin Australia's prime saltwater crocodile habitat, so understandably, collectors don't feel like doing that very often. Yeah, I don't think I would be so yeah. into that either. <laughs> anyway, these will be some very cool fish to, to play awesome. with for a while. Yeah, sure. All right. These would be some of the semi Picassos. Oh, I see it, yeah. Yes. When I looked on the list, I cheated. These are the semi Colette. Oh, semi like glad. That's why they do have the little You know what makes a lot of sense right now, Charles? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was. Very cool. I had to know. <laughs> they kind of look a lot like the regulars, just a little extra. Oh, wow. Look at the amount of blue in that. He has a face black, on him. <laughs> these are black snowflake extremes, is what they're called. Charles, tell us about that blue. So, the cool thing about the blue coloration is A, that doesn't breed true, it kind of happens randomly. But the theory is that's black coloration that is showing up underneath the white scales. That is the most blue I've seen on a clownfish in a long time. Yeah, and it does look a little milky like that, almost translucent fin or scales versus like opaque scales. Very yeah. cool. Those are gorgeous. You the pattern on those is amazing too. I love too. those a lot. I had to get another oh, midnight. Yeah. I just couldn't stop myself. So that is a solid black ocelot clownfish with I no really striking like at all. Sometimes they're hard to sell in our tanks that have black backgrounds, yeah. but when you do see them, they're very cool. They're really good. And more of the black saddle. Oh, cute. I think we got a total of six or eight of those, okay. and I'm really hoping we can get a nice big group of black saddle they, they will form a true group. They don't have a full stripe right now, so I'm definitely seeing that saddle, which I didn't really get until now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, and so now on to some fish that are, oh no, no, so here's some more clown fish. Aww. More of those black clarks. They're yep, adorable. The fins are so bright. Yeah, really good yellow. yellow. And those, uh, they're clustering. Yeah. So that is the behavior that happens with uh, captive race clownfish that does not happen in the wild. In the wild, it doesn't happen because you don't get massive groups of, of clownfish. 
But in captivity, when you breed a big group of clownfish together, when they're scared, they're going to form this, this amazing tight ball. And that's what these little guys are doing right now. That's what they're kind of, almost like they're hiding behind each other. Yeah. And if you put a group of 100 together, they'll do the same thing. And every morning they'll come down and see this massive group of 100 clownfish just tightly packed. Wow. It's really cool. Now, quick story. I'm not 100% positive on this, but the, what we call the black heart eye, I'm pretty sure that's a specific region. I think that is correct. Uh, if I remember yeah. correctly, it is from Australia. I'm not sure if there's about anything that. written on there about yeah. them. No, nothing about collection or any okay. sort of history. But we might be able to get that information. I was like, regardless, the black fly guys are a wild type of yes. yeah. For Those guys, I've never seen anybody successfully keep more than a pair of long term. Okay. Short term, they'll do okay, but that they, they want to just have <laughs> fly guys are really hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. saddlebags are kind of unique in that way. That they more little midnight. More the blacks. I just couldn't help myself. I do a soft spot for them. I know. I know. <laughs> Maybe just because of ours is so personal. All right. So we, I decided to try some hair algae eaters. So oh. these are saltwater bred sailfin mollies. Wow. So they're going to be the nice big sailfin mollies. They're going to be great in saltwater, and supposedly we'll find out for sure they're fantastic hair algae eaters. So we got a couple of bags of those. Well, that's definitely different in terms of saltwater fish. Yep. Are, oh, and some. There's, Salt and pepper. Some black ones and some salt and pepper. This feels very bizarre to me because <laughs> it feels like a freshwater fish, but even though I know that they are that yeah. adaptable. Yeah, absolutely. Those white ones are huge. Yeah, they're good. Really nice cool. Fish. Well, that one is a really nice sail on this one. Yeah. Huh. All right. Nice group of the striped wow. face lennies. It did I, not come in small. No. <laughs> These look fantastic. Usually when we get a, like, this fish ever, they're like an inch long. And I didn't even really realize that they got this size. This, this is, is really, really nice. close to full grown, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful yellow and green, but black and white stripes. It looks like, like someone drew on them with a the highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> so the cool thing about the fang lennies and the reason they are an open water open swimming blenny and they are bold is because of those fangs. They're called flame benny blennies because they have venomous fangs that point a little bit outward. They're specifically designed for biting the inside of a fish's mouth. Wow. Take a bite out of meat, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> so they end up being a very, very bold addition to a reef tank. More fang blennies, these oh, are the black line fang, fang blenny. Kind of a yellow body with that Sort of Good blue hat. Black stripe, yeah. Wow. And the uh, Kalaharas. I like those guys a lot. Oh wow. Bluer than either of the other ones. Yeah. And last but not least, from Sustainable Aquatics, we finished finishing off one of their corals. Oh, cool. A really nice eight can. I love that color. I could resist. No, nope, that bright red is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look really good at a better light. So there we go, guys. We got final fish now. Well, Charles, are you disappointed? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> I think this came in as well as we could ever expect it and some That's really good. fun stuff to work with. Clearly, they were packed right. Look for these coming out of quarantine soon. Uh, in the meantime, have lots of fun. Keep those hands wet. <laughs>